Now let's try to rename some of the columns present in our churn data set. Import numpy and pandas, import the data set. And we have the columns. You can access all the columns of your data set using this particular attribute called columns. This will give all the columns as an index object. This contains all the column names. Now, what we want to do is we want to rename certain column names into a different format. There are different ways to rename it. You can rename the columns in bulk. That is, if we want to change all of these names to capital case, you can do that. Or if you want to replace all the space inside these space inside these names with an underscore, you can do that as well in one single shot. So we will look at the various techniques now. So you can do the renaming using this particular function called df.rename. Inside that, pass in the columns attribute. If you want to rename a particular column, just pass in columns, existing column name followed by the new column name that particular column wants to hold. Just give this on running this, that particular column alone will get renamed as you wish. So account length now has an underscore in between, right? This is very much the most used use case of renaming. Now, another method is you want to rename a lot of columns in one shot. Let us say you want to convert all the strings, all the column names to uppercase. You can do that using str.upper. But before we go to this, I missed one statement here. You can do this renaming in this particular data frame. We renamed this data frame. But if you look at the column names of DF, it is still unaffected, right? All the column names, if you look at the account length over here, it is still the same. The underscore has not happened. So you can make that change reflect by running this command by adding one additional parameter which is in place equal to true. What this will do is on running this command, it will change the column names of df in place. Now on running this, you will see that df.columns now has account underscore length. The column names of df has permanently changed now. All right. So this is something that is very useful as well. Now let's come back to this one. How to rename all the columns to uppercase or lowercase or title case, whatever it is, all the functions of the string object in Python, all of this is available inside str dot the method name, the corresponding method name. Now you pass this method set access to columns. On doing this, you will see that all the column names have been renamed to contain capital case. Likewise, you can do it for lowercase as well. This will change it to lowercase. It was already lowercase, so no change here. I will change this back to upper. All right. So that is one way. Now, the third way is you can rename all of these columns in one shot. Say you want to replace the space with the underscore character. Define a lambda function. It can be a regular function as well. You can define a function here. Pass in this parameter. The parameter that this function will take will be the column names of all the columns present in your data frame. It will take the column names. You need to set access equal to column. Otherwise, if you set access equal to index, your index will be renamed. Your column index will be renamed. So you need to be careful about that. Then x, since x is a string, you can use the dot replace method. Replace the space with an underscore. Just pass this to rename and that will do the work. So the change in column names is now reflecting. Now let's do a mini challenge. The challenge is first import this data set churn.csv after importing it change all the column names to title case for instance if this is your column name account length on changing this to title case it will look like a and l are in caps can you imagine how you would solve this so here's the solution define a lambda function and inside the lambda function use x dot title set access equal to columns all the columns are now in title case. If you got it right, well done. You now have a very clear understanding of how to rename the columns.